Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shorts. Let me tell you a WhatsApp story. This happened in a professional WhatsApp networking group. There were 200 plus members in this group, but no one knew anyone personally. And we all are part of you know those groups, right? So one day, someone greeted someone with a happy birthday message. So others in the group, you know, soon realized that it is this gentleman's birthday, and immediately the group started to wish. So group had a festive atmosphere with wishes, smileys, and stickers. In the afternoon, someone in the same group reported that another gentleman's father has passed away. Immediately, there was a flood of sadness in the group. R.I.P. messages, messages like how they all are with the person, you know, since during such a sorrowful time, you know, things like that started pouring in. Now, some folks who checked the WhatsApp group in the afternoon got confused whether to wish happy birthday to the first gentleman or share heartfelt condolences to the second person. So, one smart guy did both, wishing happy birthday and also paid tribute to the second gentleman's father. Soon, everyone started following the trend. In the evening. one great personality in the group wrongly wished happy birthday to the gentleman whose father passed away that day and shared heartfelt condolences to the other gentleman who is celebrating his birthday so later those who you know just came late i mean who just opened their whatsapp later they didn't read the previous messages they just followed the chain they consoled the first gentleman who is celebrating his birthday and started wishing the second gentleman whose father passed away some guys even wished many many happy returns of the day to the guy who lost his father one went to the extreme and sent a 2 minute audio recording consoling the birthday guy without knowing the person late in the night two people left that whatsapp group you know you know who they are right Many in the group have still not understood why both the gentlemen left the WhatsApp group even after so much effort by the group members. Okay, so I got the story as a forward. I hope it's not a real incident, but we have seen a lot of you know similar goof-ups digitally and in real life, right? Because we tend to react instead of responding. Reactions are done on impulse and without putting much thoughts into it, without considering what the end result may be. but response is like your ability to choose your response we just follow the crowd at times you know if everyone is doing something that should be right that's the mentality it's called herd mentality social conformity or the bandwagon effect in psychology we simply imitate others without putting in a thought there was a social experiment in this regard by national geographic channel to check how easily we observe and follow what others are doing without a second thought so they placed hidden cameras and recorded behaviors of people in a doctor's clinic so everyone in this video other than this lady are actors so it's a staged scene so every now and then they played a beep sound as soon as it beeps everyone stood up so let's watch what the lady will do Just after three beeps, she repeated the behavior of the group without knowing why she has to stand up. She conformed to the group. She joined the bandwagon. Interestingly, she repeated the behavior even when no one was watching her. She conformed to the rules of the group. So now, watch what happens when an outsider comes in. So he's not an actor. he doesn't have any clue about you know this rule she influences him and an entirely new set of people with her behavior
everybody was doing it, so I thought I was supposed to. In a matter of minutes, the new behavior became the social norm. You will see this bandwagon effect everywhere in educational institutions, organizations, religious places, stock market, fashion trends, in communities, in social media. So most of our political ideologies, values, beliefs came from people you hanged out with. Group attitudes and norms are contagious. We are unconsciously influenced by the attitude and behavior of those around us. And you know, it's an evolutionary reason. We want to fit into the group, fit into the crowd and gain approval from others. So awareness is the key. As I said in the beginning, respond instead of reacting. You know, give it a second thought. And most importantly, follow your heart. Don't follow the herd. So the opposite of courage in our society is not cowardice. It is conformity. Even a dead fish can go with the flow. So have the courage to be different. So I love this quote. Don't be afraid to stand for what you believe in, even if that means to stand alone. Just be yourself. Be weird. Be you. Our world wants more unique people, not copycats. So jump off the bandwagon. So thank you so much for watching. I am Srid Krishna. Stay happy, stay healthy.